Cells are considered to be the building blocks of an organism. There are many different types of cells. There are bone cells, which make up the bones in your body, blood cells, which help carry oxygen to the different parts of your body, muscle cells, which help bring about movement, and many more. Even though there are many types of cells, every cell contains the same essential elements. Similar to how we humans have organs inside us, a cell has organelles. You can see these organelles around you. These organelles are embedded in the cytoplasm, which is a jelly-like fluid found between the cell membrane and the nucleus. The cytoplasm is a gel-like substance enclosed by the cell membrane. All the cell's organelles float in the cytoplasm. We used the term eukaryotic cell earlier. What exactly does this mean? A eukaryotic cell is one which has a cell nucleus and the other organelles enclosed in membranes. These selectively permeable membranes protect each organelle. They only allow certain substances to pass through and they prevent movement of certain substances through it. The entire cell is surrounded by a cell membrane, which is also a semi-permeable membrane similar to the membrane surrounding the organelles in the cell. This too selectively allows substances to enter and leave the cell. Let's take a look at the main organelles that make up a cell. To start with, something needs to provide power to the cell. This is the mitochondria, and the mitochondria is also known as the powerhouse of the cell. And now, for the most important part of the cell, the nucleus. This organelle is also known as the brain of the cell. It contains most of the cell's genetic material. The wall-like structure around it is the endoplasmic reticulum. There are two different types of endoplasmic reticulums. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is where there are ribosomes attached. Ribosomes are where the protein is synthesized in the cell. Ribosomes are also found freely in the cytoplasm. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum doesn't have any ribosomes attached. It synthesizes lipids. Here we have the Golgi complex. It acts like the cell's very own post office. It ships the proteins made by the endoplasmic reticulum to the other parts of the cell. The rounded, floating bodies we see here are lysosomes. They are created by the Golgi apparatus. They're nicknamed the cleanup crew of the cell. They help break down large molecules into smaller pieces that the cell can actually use. We can think of a cell the same way we think about a machine. All the parts of the cell have to work together to make sure that the cell functions properly. The organelles work hard. If they were lazy one day and chose not to work, the cell would die. We'll learn more about what each organelle does in our next couple of adventures.